Are you guys having fun yet? The graphic doesn't look done. Hmm, thanks. Okay. I call it a nipple. I don't think you're supposed to. All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. Finally talking about the Dyson Airwrap. I get probably 10 to 15 DMs per week about the Airwrap. It saved my life and also ruined my life because they're so loud everywhere. And all of my friends and clients have been asking for it. And I only got 10 of them to give out and fuck. So major relationships have been ruined in my life, but I do love this so much. It's been such a game changer for me. I have it in my kit, I have it at my house. All right, so I'm gonna walk you guys through the different attachments that it comes with. First of all, there's the pre-styling dryer. A lot of people ask me if this replaces the supersonic, it does not. The pre-styling dryer doesn't have like a nozzle that's gonna give you specific airflow. It basically is like exactly what it says, a pre-styling dryer. So this is gonna help you girls with like medium to thick hair to really just get your hair kind of like 50 to 60% dry before you start using the other attachments. All right, next up is the small barrel attachments. And if you notice, it has a left and a right arrow. So it tells you which side that you should be on when you're doing this. And it shows you the direction that the airflow goes. So this size barrel is typically gonna be really good for you girls with fine hair or people who have a really hard time holding a curl. For girls who really wanna have like a tighter curl, don't be scared of a small barrel because it actually makes it so you can brush through the curl and it's gonna last you a lot longer. And if you need to, you can prep your hair with a little bit of hairspray before you actually go in and set the curl. Okay, the large size barrel. So this is for you girls with thicker or more coarse hair. It's gonna give you a really nice body. You can set your hair with this and it just kind of gives you that really pretty blown out look. All right, my personal favorite is the volumizing brush and it has this really cool, cool tip attachment. I call it a nipple, I don't know if you're supposed to, but it's not a technical term. And I'm obsessed with this because you can get the most gorgeous blowout. And actually, Cash Lawless, this hairstylist in New York, had such a good idea. He's like, I'm gonna use this brush with the air up and my supersonic and get like the most incredible blowout. And I haven't tried it yet, but it's a really smart idea. The volumizing brush is really amazing for you girls who want a lot of body and volume up top. And for you girls with really fine hair that need a little bit more tension, this is going to be a life changer. All right, next up we have the smoothing brush. And this is really amazing because it has really wide set bristles. It's great for you girls with thick and coarse hair, especially if you wanna get your hair straight. And this is my go-to when I just wanna like dry my hair and get it nice and smooth really quickly. And just a side note, when I say girls, I mean everyone. So all you boys watching, don't get mad. You can use this too. All right, last but not least, we have <laughs> what it's called. the soft smoothing brush. This is really great for you girls with really fine hair. It's got like ball tipped bristles, so it'll give you nice tension. And so great for getting your hair smooth. Okay, you can find the Air Wrap at Sephora, at Ulta. They have it at Bed Bath & Beyond, at Best Buy, Neiman Marcus. Basically, you can find it everywhere. They have it on QVC. Um, if you can't find it, just know they are coming out with more. I know that some people have been writing me and saying they're having a hard time getting one. Don't worry, they're making more. So you can go to Dyson.com. I'll put the link in the description box for you guys. I've had a lot of people ask me if it's worth getting the complete styler kit. I think it is, because it's not that big of a price difference, but you literally will have every single option to do whatever hairstyle you want. All right, so I am gonna show you guys how I get kind of like a really nice, loose, natural wave, because that's kind of my go-to. Especially as I'm growing my hair out, I need to figure out a way that I can like style it where I actually like it. And I prepped my hair. I actually washed with our way clean shampoo and then I use repair conditioner and once a week I like to use our treatment mask just to really get my hair because my hair can get pretty dry speaking of dry I hope you guys can't see it but my skin from my Bora Bora trip is literally like peeling off like I'm a snake and I'm losing my winter coat so I'm gonna go through with a pre-styling dryer and just get it about I'd say 60 70 percent dry and then I'll go through with my curling barrels and show you how I do it are you guys having fun yet? Wait. Side note, how cute are these little nail stickers from Olive and June? Sponsored by Olive and June. No, it's not. Okay, back to work. Okay guys, so my hair type, I have fine hair, but I have a lot of it. And then I have kind of like a natural wave. And because I get my hair colored, I do balayage on the ends. It basically has made my hair a little dry and fried. I'll probably go through at the very end and show you how to use some of our rose hair and body oil just to make it have a little bit of shine. Um, so I'm gonna basically just section my hair now into two parts from ear to ear. All right, so now I'm gonna start with the small barrel and I grabbed 
this one because I know that once I turn it this way and I'm wrapping the hair around it, that airflow is going away from my face, which is what you want. Because that's gonna give you more of like a cool natural wave versus like curling it in where that would look like I'm doing a guest star on Friends in the 90s. We want it to go away from your face. So because it has intelligent heat control, I know that it's measuring the temperature. So I'm actually gonna turn it all the way up because I'm not worried about any extreme heat damage. That's what's so great about this. This is air, it's not extreme heat. And I'm not worried about my hair getting caught in it because you guys, it's airflow. So it's like blowing air out. It's never sucking air in. That's something that everyone has been asking me about. And I'm gonna have my airflow turned up all the way. My temperature is turned up all the way because I gotta go. So guys, I'm holding that for about 10 to 15 seconds. And as you can see, it's just giving me a really nice loose wave. So basically it's drying my hair and styling it at the same time. So the reason that I'm actually wrapping the hair around the barrel and holding the end out is because I want kind of that really loose wave. What you've probably seen on YouTube a lot is people who are basically just capturing their hair in it. It gives you more of a bend towards the end of the hair versus like body within the center, if that makes sense. But I'll show you how you can do that. So easy. And I'm just gonna do a shot of cool air by pushing up and then just taking it out. And you can see that gives you like a lot of body towards the bottom, which is great. It's good for girls with really long hair, I personally think. But I, because I have a lob that I'm growing out, I need to have that body like in the center. So a shot of cool air just to really set the bend. And here I go, I've got that like really nice loose wave. And it gives me a really good body. Only could give me a really good body, if you know what I mean. So now I'm gonna go on my left side. I'm gonna switch out my barrels. So my airflow is going away from my face. Shot of cool air. And there we go, nice and straight. Guys, this is literally, I've been doing this for 40 seconds. Now I'm gonna move to my next section. And just so you guys out there know that it's my worst nightmare in life doing my own hair. I'm like the last person that I care about. That's why you see me in a bun most of the time. But because I have the air up, I actually have been doing my hair more, which has been really fun. All right, because I still have my attachment from my left side, I'm just gonna go ahead and finish this left side out. And I'm gonna show you guys my trick for getting the back. You don't have to do the back, no one's gonna see it. So just so you guys know, I like to use like a two or a three finger rule when I'm getting my sectioning, and that's wide and long. Wide and long? High and wide? I don't know what to say. Taking it out, loose bend. Like how insane is this? This is not like a really hot curling iron. You guys, my hair is completely dry right now. So it's not only drying it, but it's styling it at the same time, which saves me so much time. And just so you know, I am an ambassador for Dyson, but I actually go out to London like two or three times a year and sit with all of the engineers. I like feel so smart, like I'm a little scientist. And I get to go and sit with them and show them how we do our hair. And so I've seen the air wrap from like conception to the end. And it's been so fun to be a part of this project because my whole thing was we're all so busy. No one has time to sit and really do their hair. Or if you're the girl that gets your hair blown out like two or three times a week, that gets costly. So this little guy has been so amazing. So for all of you haters who are like, how is she gonna do the back? So I always suggest taking your section and basically splitting it down the middle and bringing it forward. So I'm gonna take that section in the back here and I'm gonna bring it as far forward as I can. All right, and I know what you're gonna say. She's a hairstylist, of course she knows how to do it, but guess what, Karen, you can do it too. I have so much faith in you. You guys can actually be your own hairstylist now. All right, now I'm going back to my right side, so I'm switching my barrel and voila. Guys, literally this was like 10 seconds, not even. This is the problem with girls. We all are born with hair that we don't want. Like every girl with curly hair wants straight hair. Every girl with straight hair wants curls. Like we're never satisfied. So I would suggest if you're that girl that always has to change your natural hair texture, then just go with like, I would say the firm smoothing brush if you have really thick coarse hair. The round volumizing brush is really great to just get your hair a nice bouncy blowout. Um, but you want to just create tension if you're trying to smooth or really get your hair like bouncy and curly. And then you girls with fine hair, you're going to want to prep with Way Volume Spray. It's amazing. All right, so now I'm going to go and I'm going to finish this right side up. Did I do the back on one side? I don't think I did. Not really. The back doesn't look done. Mmm, thanks. Okay. <laughs> 
And for those of you wondering about your root, I mean, look at this, you guys, how insane is this? For those of you worried about your root not being dry, so when I used the pre-styling dryer, I actually was kind of lifting at the root to just make sure that the root was like as dry as I wanted it to be. And now I'm going through and really like making sure that the mid length to end is dry. And if you notice what I was doing, while it was hot, I was actually pulling down on it to kind of loosen the wave right around my face. And I like to kind of start that first curl right, but right just below where your eye starts. Okay, so now I'm gonna kind of start moving towards the back. I'm gonna take kind of bigger sections because I don't want the back to be like really small curls. And do exactly what I've been doing. And the other thing to point out, you guys, is curling irons are so damaging to your hair. And it's funny because when I'm cutting clients, they'll come in and they're like, you have to help me, my ends are so split. And I'm like, what are you doing every day? Most of us are like using a blow dryer. The supersonic is such a game changer because the filter is now on the handle and I don't know one person, a hairstylist or any of my friends that actually ever cleaned their blow dryer. So we all had like dryers that were five to 10 years old and it had just like that dirt in the back of it and it was really trapping heat and really, really damaging your hair. So this is why the air wrap has been so popular because everyone's realizing now that you can style and dry your hair quicker. Not only that, but you can actually save the health of your hair. So you can get the style that you want without completely frying your hair especially you girls that color your hair because you're more susceptible to heat damage than anyone else. And if you guys notice, again, I'm starting that curl maybe about two inches away from the root for these pieces here in the front because I want those pieces to be a little bit more relaxed. And if it's too curly, you can always pull on it while it's cooling down and it'll loosen it up. So now I'm gonna take the back, again, taking bigger sections because who really cares what the back looks like? Just kidding, just kidding. Taking bigger sections just so it's a little bit more loose and relaxed. Sheila Stotts brush, shout out to Sheila. And then the very, very back, I'm gonna show you guys. So now I can kind of feel that it's still a little damp right here. So that very, very back piece, I'm just gonna take that section out and I'm gonna curl it actually under. So I know that this airflow direction is going under. I'm gonna wrap the hair around it like you would a curling iron. And notice how close I am to the root. It does not burn yourself. All right guys, so now my hair is dry. I've got that really nice wave that I want. This is so fun actually doing my own hair. I never have time to do this. So I'm gonna now finish with some whey matte pomade. You can say pomade, but I feel fancy if I say pomade. Taking just like a little dime size amount, making sure that it's really rubbed through my hands. Starting in the back on the bottom, because that's where you want majority of the product. And the reason why I like to do this with my hair is because I have very thick hair. Fine hair, but a lot of it, so it's thick in that regard. And I like just a really broken up look because I don't like my hair to look like too fluffy and too pretty. I like it to look a little bit more gritty. And then I'm gonna take my Whey Volumizing Hairspray just to kind of make sure that those curls are really gonna stay throughout the day. And then like I said, my Whey Rose Hair and Body Oil because not only do my ends need a little bit of love, but my body, it's like disgusting how I have like skin dandruff. So I'm gonna put about two pumps of the rose hair and body oil in my hand. So starting in the back on the bottom, cause that's the most dense part of my hair. And again, just kind of like raking my hair through my hands. I lost my olive and palm tree in my hair. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> finds a palm tree. I did lose my palm tree in my hair somewhere. All right guys, there you have it. The Dyson Airwrap small barrel. And we're about 11 minutes in, which this would normally have taken me 30 to 45 minutes to do this. I'm lying, it would have taken longer. You guys, the best part about it is, like this is literally my kit now. Because I have the Dyson Airwrap, I don't have to carry 7,000 things. This has been like my new best friend and all you hairstylists out there, my kit went from like 75 pounds to like 20 pounds. I know you've seen those videos where people are putting plastic water bottles to their hair dryer. I don't recommend it if you, I mean, it's funny for YouTube, but I wouldn't recommend it because it's not gonna give you the same uniformed, amazing curl. And plastic water bottles are so bad for the environment. Duh. Okay, bye.